Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. Let's do the whole darn weekend. Saturday, August the 22nd is National Surgical Oncologist Day, National Be an Angel Day, National Bao Day, B-A-O, or is it National Bo? I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, National Ben Better Day, <laughs> National Tooth Fairy Day, which we're going to mention later in the program as well, and National Pecan Tort Day. August the 23rd, Sunday, National Ride the Wind Day and National Sponge Cake Day. Okay. So have we ever had sponge cake? Yeah. What is that? What is sponge cake? Is it? It's it's like kind of like angel food cake. Okay. Similar? I think I know. Is that like yeah. when you make strawberry shortcake? No, that's shortcake. I don't know. Shortcake. We'll have to have it's a sponge similar. cake and uh, you'll have to let me know. That's what we're eating. Uh, also, want to remind you, it's a program today that you don't want to miss. Mr. Jordan Goodman, America's, Money's, uh, America's Money Answers Man. That's coming up in just a bit. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. The new way is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800-659-7805. That's 800-659-7805. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A survey from CNBC found 40% of COVID-19 test results came back too late to be clinically meaningful. So they're saying that hey, we got your results, and uh, oh, by the way, you're negative or you're positive, whatever it is. But they're like, well, it would have been nice to know that like a week ago or however long. So they're saying they need to really figure out how to speed that whole process up a bit. So uh, that would be a lot more helpful if it was instant or if it was even if it wasn't instant, if it was Mm -hmm. quicker. So I don't know how long that takes. I've got a link to the study. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If you have a credit card, our friends at BetterCreditCards.com would like to make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and then see what you get for points and perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing and it could help you save money by getting a better credit card. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can check it out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. South Carolina woman gouged her eyes out during oh a meth-induced psychotic episode. She thought she could save the world and she's received a pair of prosthetic eyeballs that now make her appear more normal to the outside world. Anyway, luckily, she's now sober. So back oh when she gosh. did this, somehow she thought she could save the world if she just gouged oh down her eyes. Oh, my gosh. That's why you don't do drugs. I mean, it's just a really oh, bad idea. Can you imagine how painful that oh, would be? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, it would, yeah, the whole thing, just a bad, not very well thought out plan. But that is what happens when your brain is on drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. America's Got Talent judge Simon Cowell said to have undergone surgery last week after breaking his back. He fell from an electric bike in California. So, right. I, read, I remember hearing yeah, about this that. This is like a week ago, and I don't know why I'm just finally getting around to this. I've got a couple of stories here that are uh, a little older. Uh, but it late, sounded like he was going to be fine. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Late last year, we learned about a remake of Home Alone that is in the works, and somebody on Twitter has come up with an idea for a plot. They're not sharing what the real plot is, but the Twitter idea is an interesting idea, and I kind of like it. Uh, They said you should recast Macaulay Culkin. He's 38 now, but cast him as Kevin, the nine-year-old character, and then just like have nobody in the film acknowledge that he's 38 and he could be home alone by himself anyway. It's actually kind of a funny idea. And Forbes magazine reported that Dwayne The Rock Johnson has nabbed the title of the world's highest paid actor for the second straight year. Between June of last year and June of this year, he racked up $87.5 million. That is crazy so that to is, me. That is uh, it's over double what you and I make. Um, <laughs> At least. Well, it's, it is over double. <laughs> <laughs> 87 million times more than we. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. If you take Viagra or Cialis, 
Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Call 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. Again, that's 800-214-7977. Now your scoop of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. A new survey from the National Weather Service found the temperature in Death Valley last weekend, so one weekend ago, it was 130 degrees on Sunday of last week. The highest recorded temperature on the earth in over a century. But it's a dry heat, so... (laughs) Right. (sighs) Survey by the New York Post found that the city's rising crime wave has caused sales of bulletproof vests to go through the roof. Oh, I bet. So a lot of folks in New York City saying, you know what? I'm not going out without a bulletproof vest. I remember, this is like 15 years ago, um, we had a client that we recorded an ad for, for, and I don't know if they're even still around, but it was bulletproof backpacks. Right. Remember that? Yep. And I do. they do still make them. I don't do know they? if that same client is yeah. in business, but I, I just know remember the guy called me and I honestly thought it was somebody kidding me. Like, yeah, we'd like you to create a radio campaign for us. Uh, it's a bulletproof mm-hmm. backpack. So I'm like, haha, who, who am I talking to here? But mm-hmm. it was really a thing. And then when he explained it to me, I was like, oh, actually, that kind of does make sense. So um, a Chinese dog walker likely prefers pooches now even more. He was walking down the street, walking his dog, and a cat fell out of a very high apartment building, fell off the window ledge, and hit the guy, knocked him to the ground. Mm-hmm. So there's a video now of this guy strolling along with his golden retriever. I don't know where a black and white cat. Oh, they found a video for it. Yeah. Drops out of the sky, Good hits Lord. him on the head, caused him to collapse. He hit the sidewalk unconscious. Witnesses say the cat belonged to an elderly neighbor, had fallen from the balcony. Sadly, the man wasn't feeling fine. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> After this kitten wow. and dude's knockout. Spent 23 days in the hospital. So, does not say if the cat is okay. I'm pretty sure that cat is not okay. We, we talked about this like, we I don't did. know, a week I'm ago. pretty sure that cat is not okay. It doesn't say. A new report claims the national coin shortage is making it more difficult for certain retailers. So some retailers are having problems, but even more so, laundromats. Oh, yeah, I'm and sure. businesses that are near parking meters mm-hmm. and car washes and vending machines that are, you know, all. But the most interesting one on the list is the Tooth Fairy. There's been a big struggle. Oh. So nowadays there are people that are going, okay, I think the Tooth Fairy needs to give out at least a dollar. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure, wasn't that the case when our kids, it's been a long time. Tooth always gave our kids, yeah. so. uh, you know, bills. Yeah, so. so I don't know, it's nothing new for us. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's a big deal for some folks. And Hawaii is struggling with the highest rate of COVID-19 transmission in the entire United States, leading one expert to urge residents in Hawaii to uh, remember the importance of wearing masks and social distancing. They're like, you guys really need to get this together. And they're like, hey, we live in Hawaii. We're cool. (laughs) It's all good. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Nobody wants to buy car insurance. It's not a fun thing to think about, but it's something you need if you want to drive your car. So even if you don't want to buy insurance, you probably have to get it from someone. So why not buy it from insurancechicken.com? Okay, I'll admit, our website name is dumb. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, our marketing department is not that great. But our selection of insurance options is amazing. See if we can save you money each month on our dumb website, insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Our guest today is Jordan Goodman. He is America's Money Answers Man. And we talk to him about once a month about all things financial. Jordan, how are you, sir? Great to be with you, John. Well, we're excited to chat. Uh, If you'd like to follow along, Jordan's website is moneyanswers.com. And he's got a lot of great resources there. One of the things I was going to ask you about, 2020 has been such a bizarre time for people who maybe have been diligent savers. They've had money in the stock market. They'd have money in savings accounts. Is there a place right now? now that they should be looking as far as making sure that that money is working for them as best as possible? Two areas that are doing the best right now, John, are big technology stocks in the NASDAQ and gold, and which have both been 
soaring, and I think we'll continue to do so. On the technology front, all the big companies, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, all those companies are actually benefiting from the stay-at-home economy in various. I mean, just to give you one example, Amazon, obviously people are buying a lot more stuff and having it delivered at home that's taken away from brick-and-mortar stores. So all those companies have done well, will continue to do well. Uh, the NASDAQ recently went over 11,000 for the first time ever, being driven by those kind of big stocks. So that's the first area I think you want to have some participation in. The second area is gold. And gold recently went over $2,000 an ounce for the first time ever. And I think it's going much higher for several reasons. First of all, when interest rates are very low, in fact, they're negative to some extent, gold, which produces no income, uh, looks relatively better. So negative interest rates are positive for gold. You've also got the central banks around the world, like the Federal Reserve here and other banks around the world, printing money literally by trillions and trillions of dollars. So that devalues paper currency when they print so much of it and increases the value of hard assets like gold. And then there's just a tremendous momentum to the play as well. So a lot of people are climbing in on these things, either as physical gold or as gold shares. As far as physical gold, one of the resources I have at moneyinterest.com is called Monetary Metals. You can buy physical gold and silver, but also you can uh, turn your gold in and receive 5% interest on your gold, either in gold or in a cash. So, you know, people say you can't earn interest in gold. You actually can now with this place called Monetary Metals. So <laughs> those are two places I think have done well and will continue to do well in this current coronavirus uh, situation. And is it unusual to see where gold is doing well and the stock market is doing well at the same time? Isn't it usually like... It is, exactly. Normally when the stock market's up, bonds and gold go down. But right now, all three are up. Bonds are up too. Interest rates have been falling. And so, yeah, it's very unusual to have everything going up basically right now. Now, one of the things you had mentioned earlier, you were talking about the work-at-home economy, and you know that's one of the reasons some of these technology stocks are doing so well. Uh, you also have uh, access to a resource for people who maybe want to do that working from home. Even if they don't have a job right now, there are places right. that they can find where you know, you're, no longer, you're no longer looking in the neighborhood for a job. You can kind of look almost anywhere in the world now, right? That's correct, and that's where all the job growth is is online remote jobs in many, many, many different fields, over a thousand different fields. Uh, you go on, and, and the, the link that I have at Money Answers is called FlexJobs, FlexJobs.com. They only do remote jobs, and it's like a thousand different categories, accounting and law and journalism and uh, engineering, just all kinds of different things. You go on there, you, you put in your criteria, you match it, and there's tons of job offers all the time, all, only remote, and they also have what are called virtual job fairs. <laughs> so it's, you don't go to a fair in person anymore. Uh, you can look around and see what jobs are available, have interviews with uh, recruiters all online and get hired online. Uh, so that's, that's the way that the world is. That's not the future. That's the present. So yeah. flexjobs.com. Is the resource I have at Money Answers to help people find remote jobs. And also on that same website, moneyanswers.com, you can find uh, links to buy books from Jordan Goodman. How many books do you have now, sir? Uh, Thirteen, actually. And we can find all of those on your website as well, right? Right, and I've got tons of other resources. I've got about 150 different resources now in the Resource Center. Flex Jobs and Monetary Metals, we spoke about today, just two of them. There are lots of ways to really do well in this environment, John. Um, and i try to give people tons of resources to do that. And I'm always glad to take emails from your listeners. I get them all the time at moneyanswers.com. Well, Jordan, thank you very much for your time today, sir. Thanks so much, John. Again, Jordan Goodman. His website, once again, is moneyanswers.com. We're also going to throw a link to that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. The new way is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800-659-7805. That's 800-659-7805. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Dolly Parton once lost a lookalike contest for Dolly Parton. I know. Yeah, she was entered in a celebrity lookalike contest, re- not, didn't reveal that she was the real Dolly, and she lost to a drag queen 
at a club in San Francisco. So the drag queen looked more like Dolly Parton than the real Dolly Parton, who said, I'm really Dolly Parton. They're like, yeah, not even close. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Charlie Chaplin did the same thing. I know. I, was, I knew you were going to say that. You did a report <laughs> on him when you were like seven. I did. That's the one thing you remember That's from school. That's the only thing I remember from that whole report. <laughs> and yeah, pretty much from all of school. It's pretty sad. <laughs> all right. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If you have a credit card, our friends at BetterCreditCards.com would like to make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and then see what you get for points and perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing and it could help you save money by getting a better credit card. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can check it out, too, at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline Russia. Americans, uh, infectious disease specialists are now, and their vaccinologists, are uh, raising alarms about Russia's announcement that they're going to begin vaccination on their population against COVID, rushing a relatively untested vaccine into mass production. So it's people, and it's not just in America, people around the world are going, wait a minute, shouldn't you mm-hmm. test it first? There should first? be some testing. And they're like, hey, we're going to just give it to all of our people, and that's going to be the test. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I've got a link to the story, and who knows, maybe it's updated since I got this story. I've got several things here that I've been uh, holding on to for a while now. But uh, if you would like to read the story and maybe an update, I don't know. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If you take Viagra or Cialis, call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Call 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. Again, that's 800-214-7977. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Tennessee woman recently renewed her driver's license online, and she got her ID card back with a photo of an empty chair instead of her face. She said, I was with my mom, and we were going to eat lunch, and I said, okay, you need to see this. This isn't right, Jade Dodd told uh, of the errant photo. says here, for some reason, when they took the photo, 25-year-old's license, since it was the last photo mistakenly taken, it wasn't like when they took the photo of the last time she was there, they took one of an empty chair as well, apparently, and they just used that one. I don't know. When the department how, was, I don't understand how you can renew your license because you wouldn't have an updated photo then at all, they, they whether it's just the, an empty chair or not. But, but they used the last photo that was taken of you in their system, apparently. Yeah, which is what I'm saying, because you renew your license, what, every 10 years? I don't know. So you would have a 10-year-old photo. I think it's four years. I don't know. Maybe it's, I have no idea. Four years, 10 years, whatever. Yeah, passport is 10. So as soon as they found out there was something wrong, they made things right. It was, uh, you know, they got an actual photo of her. They took care of it. But uh, this photo has now hit the uh, interweb hundreds of thousands of times. So people all over the place are seeing this, kind of going, okay, that just seems weird. That's why it is today's Weird News. Time now for your Moment of Duh, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. A man reportedly punched a 17-year-old worker in the face at Sesame Place Theme Park in Pennsylvania. Bad idea. He was told by the employee that uh, masks are required on the premises. That's when the man just punched the kid in the face. Not a good cool, not a cool thing to do. Suspect is wanted uh, for the assault that happened on Sunday, so last weekend, about 30 miles outside of Philadelphia, Believed to be the, between the ages of 20 and 30, he was with a woman, and a teen worker let him know that, hey, there's a mask policy, everybody's supposed to wear a mask, and that's when the man ran into the teen again later in the day, and uh, he punched him in the face. The woman and the suspect fled the park in a car that was registered in New York, so... Not good. People are losing their minds. I know. On both sides of this. I mean, everybody needs to just take a deep breath, calm down, and just stop being mean to each other. Please. This is today's Moment of Duh. Nobody wants to buy car insurance. It's not a fun thing to think about, but it's something you need if you want to drive your car. 
So even if you don't want to buy insurance, you probably have to get it from someone. So why not buy it from insurancechicken.com? Okay, I'll admit, our website name is dumb. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, our marketing department is not that great. But our selection of insurance options is amazing. See if we can save you money each month on our dumb website, insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I am ready. Here we go. Fake news or Florida. An Oakland Park, Florida man attacked his neighbor with a sword after they argued about trash. Fake news or Florida? Ooh, I'm going to say Florida. It is true. You you got one right. I did. It's been it's, a while. It has been a while. I'm, I tell you what, I've been rooting for you over here. I've been hoping that you'd get one right. I tried to do a softball question to make it really easy for you. Thank you for that. I appreciate um, that. And I, it really wasn't. That was just the next question that I had. So <laughs> it wasn't any more difficult or, or, or any easier. But you got it right. This has been today's Fake News or Florida on the John and Heidi Show. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is really good news. It's a cool, cool story, and it comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Here's the headline. Struggling waitress surprised with a car from a regular customer, from a couple regular customers. It says here, a couple gifted a waitress a car after learning that this single mother had been taking an Uber to get back and forth to and from work. Lisa Molette has been working at the Empire Diner in New Jersey for the last four years. But when COVID hit, everything went downhill. She was off work from March through June. And then upon returning to work, her car broke down. It was hard. It was challenging. I'm a single mom with two kids. I have my own house, paying the bills, trying to get everything right and keep everyone happy, she told the news outlet. So she'd been using an Uber to get to work. That is, until last weekend, when a pair of regular customers gave her the tip of a lifetime. One she'll certainly remember, a Nissan Altima. It's a blessing. They blessed me, she said, uh, a, a gift of the unnamed customers. They didn't want their name in the story. They're wonderful people. They come here constantly, come with family, and they are like family to me. The generous customers did not want their names out there, but she did want to spread some joy Uh, They did want to spread some joy to somebody who could use it. The diner's owner said he couldn't think of anyone more deserving. Said the car for Lisa, and he said, uh, they said that I have a car here for Lisa, and that's when the guy said, wow, it was a shock for me. I had goosebumps. There are still good people out there. There are so many good people out there. Absolutely. There are so many good people out there, and this is just such a great story. So here's a photo of, I don't know who's in the photo with her. I thought maybe it was the customer's. But maybe it's not. But it's a photo of her with somebody. Uh, And I've got a link to that story and that photo and all of the info in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for listening. I know you have a lot of choices of things you can stick in your ears. We appreciate it being us right here on The John and Heidi Show.